Cameron Nori is currently ranked 79 in the World 2018 Fever Tree Championships on the Gvenu, Queen's Club, London dates, 18 to 24 June coverage. Watch live on BBC2. British number 2 Cameron Nori will play three-time Grand Slam winner Stan Wawrinka at Queen's Club on Monday. BBC iPlayer, BBC Red Button, Connected TVs, the BBC Sport website and app. Andy Murray, making his comeback after a year out with a hip injury, plays Australian Nick Kyrgios on Tuesday at the Fever Tree Championships. Kyle Edmund, who has replaced Murray as British number 1 meets American Ryan Harrison the same day. 12-time major champion Novak Djokovic faces Australian qualifier John Millman, also on Tuesday. 15 of the world's top 30 male players, plus Murray, Djokovic and Wawrinka, are competing in the West London tournament, although 18-time slam champion Rafael Nadal and world number 4-1 Martin Del Pitcher have withdrawn. You can follow all the action on the BBC Cross Television, Radio and online. How I recovered from lowest point Murray's BBC Sport column Murray says he can still win Grand Slam's Queen's order of play how to follow Queen's on the BBC Murray. Djokovic but no Nadal, who else is playing? Queen's is said to have the strongest lineup in its 128-year history with 15 of the world's top 30 taking part. The tournament is seen as an important marker for players in their build-up to Wimbledon, which starts on July 2nd. It is also an ATP 500 event. The third tier of tournaments on the men's tour below the Grand Slams and Masters, giving them opportunity to earn a significant number of ranking points. Former Queen's champions, Croatia's 2017 Wimbledon finalist Marin Silic and reigning ATP World Tour Finals champion Grigor Dimitrov, are among the top 10 players appearing. Silic, the top seed, plays 2013 Wimbledon quarter finalist Fernando Verdasco on Monday. The first match on Queen's Centre Court sees highly rated Canadian teenager Denis Shapovalov play veteran Gilles Muller, a quarter finalist at Wimbledon last year. Murray practised with fellow Brayton Nori before deciding to make his competitive return at Queen's Murray nervous before return Scott Murray, who has dropped to 157 in the world rankings has not played competitively since Wimbledon last year and had hip surgery in January. He admitted he will be nervous when he returns to action at Queen's where he has won the title a record five times. I'm expecting to be very nervous when I go back out there. There are a lot of doubts when you've not played for a long time, he said. Coming back from injury you're always kind of second-guessing yourself. You never know exactly when you're going to be ready, but I'm looking forward to getting back out there and competing and hopefully playing well. I've obviously got lots of great memories from here, from winning the tournament and playing here the first time when I was 18. I'm sure I'll have the same nerves and stuff as I did all those years ago. Djokovic back at Queen's before his opener at Queen's Djokovic said his ultimate goal is to return to world number one Djokovic is playing at the Queen's club for the first time in eight years. The former world number one had said he may skip the grass court season after losing in the French Open quarterfinals to Marco Secchinato having suffered injury problems this season. But he has now accepted a late wild card for Queen's and said it would be great preparation for Wimbledon. The Serb also said he hopes to see Murray against whom he has played seven Grand Slam finals, returned to the top of the game, adding that tennis misses him. Edmund on British Buzz Media Playback is not supported on this device. Edmund deals with being British number one in his own way. The tournament sees Kyle Edmund play the British grass court events as British number one for the first time. Throughout year we travel so much so it is nice to be home and play in front of a home crowd and get that support. Having replaced Murray in March. It's a really buzz, said Edmund, 23 who reached his first Grand Slam semi-final at the Australian Open in January. Attention has picked up, he added. You get used to it and learn how to deal with it in your own way, but I get on with it and see it is a good problem. Inspired to play tennis? Find out how to get into tennis in our special guide. Look at Andy who has done it for so many years and is able to get the results like he has. That shows there are ways of doing it that help you. Queen's coverage on BBC TV All Times BST. The BBC is not responsible for any changes that may be made. Matches and coverage times are subject to late changes. Monday 18th June 13 15 to 18.00, BBC 212 0 13.00 and 1755-1945, BBC Red Button 12-0-1945, Connected TV and Online Tuesday 19th June 13.00-18.00. BBC 212-0-1300 and 1715-1945, BBC Red Button 12-0-1945.
Connected TV and Online Wednesday 20th June 1300-1800, BBC 2120-1300 and 1755-19. 45. BBC Red Button 120-1945. Connected TV and online Thursday 21st June 1300-1800. BBC 2120-1315 and 1745-1945. BBC Red Button 120-1945. Connected TV and online Friday 22nd June 1300-1800. BBC 2120-1315 and 1755-1945, BBC Red Button 1200-1945, Connected TV and Online Saturday 23rd June 1300, Mana 1700, BBC 2150-1900, BBC Red Button 130-1900, Connected TV and Online Sunday 24th June 1430-1730, BBC 2 Alerts, Get tennis news sent to your phone.